Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you a step-by-step, -step, in-depth tutorial on how to apply foundation. The important thing before applying your foundation is obviously your base, which is your skincare. If you don't get the skincare right, you're not going to get your foundation right. I've seen so many people applying the uh, foundations without even applying any moisturizer or looking after the skin, and obviously your skin does not look the 100% as it's supposed to look. So I always say that it's always, always important to moisturize your skin. Whether you have oily skin, whether you have dry skin, whatever type of skin you have, make sure you moisturize. So that's the number one rule that's the most important when you apply your foundation. Um, obviously, you need to also find out what type of skin type you have. There's so many skin types, but I'm just going to go over them just uh, briefly. Um, firstly, I'm going to go ahead and start off with oily skin. So oily skin is when you look at your face, you can actually see a little bit of a shine or a little bit of greasiness when you touch your face. Um, and you can also kind of see your face is looking shiny, looks oily, so that means you have oily skin. Uh, if you have dry skin, that's number two. You probably if your skin feels very dry, um, obviously, uh, but it feels very tight and you can actually see sometimes your skin is flaking off, um, which means you probably have dry skin. Then another one is uh, number three would probably be combination skin, which is a mixture of both. Um, it could be maybe your skin is dry on the outside of your face um, and then maybe oily on your T-zone. So this is your T-zone, your forehead down to your nose and sometimes people also get a little bit oily on their um, cheek areas or what's this area called? Anyways, you understand this area over here. Um, some people also get oily on their chins. So I mean that's a combination. A combination basically means two types of skin um, skin types in on your face. Um, also, you can get normal skin, which probably means your skin is a no, it's, it's not dry and it's not oily, which probably means you probably just have some normal skin, which I'm so jealous of. <laughs> okay. So it's very, very important to know what skin type you have, it's just because you need to deal with the problem that you have before you apply your foundation. So for example, uh, somebody has dry skin and they buy a product or moisturizer that's for oily skin, it's gonna make their face even more dry. Because the moisturizer is made specifically to combat oily skin, it has ingredients in it to make it even more dry throughout the day. If you have dry skin, I recommend that you use a normal moisturizer, which is made for dry skin, and then go ahead and use a face oil on your, um, on your whole face. That will give you the most beautiful, luminous, and hydrated skin. Um, and if you have dry, if you have oily skin, sorry, um, I would go ahead and use um, something that's very water-based, something that's actually made for oily skin. So I, since I have combination skin, I also use two types of moisturizers. I go ahead and use a normal moisturizer on my face, which is just for overall effect, just to keep my face hydrated. Then I go ahead and use a face oil, and I apply that under my, uh, obviously under my eyes, because I don't want any of the concealers and stuff to crease. So I really, really hydrate my under eyes. Then I go ahead and apply on my cheek areas because this is where I get very, very dry. Next, I go ahead and use an oil control uh, moisturizer on my nose area and I use it on my forehead area and a little bit on my chin area. But I specifically focus it on this part, this, <laughs> this part of my nose because that's the place I get the most oil. Moisturizer hydrates your face and it also protects your skin. It also allows your foundation to look beautiful, to make it look glowy, to make it look like it's hydrated without making it look cakey. So that's, I think, that's the most important thing. You don't want your foundation to look like you're wearing a mask. That's why I always, always say to wear a moisturizer before you apply your foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and show you step-by-step step what I do for my skin to prepare my skin as a base for my foundation. Go ahead and moisturize my face with this oil control from MAC. It's an oil control lotion from MAC. And like I said, I do have more of an oily skin type. Concentrate the product more in the center of my face and then I go ahead and use something else on the cheek areas. Always use more than you actually need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open this. Here we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Always use a good amount. So I don't know if you can see that. I always use a really, really good amount. And I'm gonna go ahead and just massage this into my skin. I'm doing this under my eyes as well. Concentrating it on my forehead and on my nose though. Next I use a face oil on my cheek areas because that's a dry part of my face. I don't use too much because my skin is obviously like I said oily. So I'm gonna take one drop here and then one drop here. Put it into my skin and I also take that under my eyes as well because I really want my under eyes my under eyes to be hydrated. 
Next, I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I don't always prime my face because I don't like the way primer looks and feels on the skin. I actually just only prefer to use moisturizers and face oils. And from all the courses I've also done um, with Mario, with Huda Beauty and stuff, they never use a primer. They always use moisturizers and face oils. They never ever go with primers. And I understand, it just gives you a very like silicony, like very thick um, type of texture to the face. And I really, really don't like that. So I also don't use a primer, but I do use a little bit of a control shine prime uh, on my nose area. Now that I've moisturized my skin, I'm gonna go ahead and see the foundation color that's perfect for my skin tone. Don't use something that's too light because that will make you look grey and ashy. And don't use something too dark because that will make you look orange and it will actually dull out your face. When you buy a foundation, match it either to your face or to your neck, whichever one you prefer. So I'm going to go ahead and take some foundations and apply them on my cheek area and blend them out. So here's one foundation. I use MAC NC42 over here and I'm going to use NC43 now. Foundation shade here. You can already see that one is way too light. Can you see it looks a little bit grey on me? Over here. So some foundations dry darker on your skin, so make sure you wait a couple of minutes before you see what colour you prefer. Now the foundations have completely dried, I'm going to go ahead and look what foundation colour suits me. So from what I can see, um, I prefer this one here and I prefer this one here as well. Um, this one here, I actually like this colour more because I feel like this goes, it just vanishes into my skin, it doesn't even look like I have anything on. I don't know how it looks on camera, but when I look at it in person, it actually completely, completely like disappears. So I think that this is the best colour for me. I think this one here is a little bit too light. This one obviously is way too light. I don't know if you can see how it looks very like grey on my skin. And this one here is a very dark, um, not very dark, I would say maybe one shade darker. And I can actually look, I mean, when I look at it in person, it looks very orange. I don't know how it looks on camera, but in person it looks very, very orange. Now that I've chosen the right colour for my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and choose the application method. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. I personally like to use a sponge and this is what my sponge looks like. This is called a beauty blender. It's a teardrop shape sponge and I wet it under water to make it damp just so that it gives me the most beautiful airbrush look. So this is, I have, sorry it's dirty, so this is the one I have which is completely dry and this is how it looks like when it's wet. So you can see that they actually, it actually kind of doubles in size once it's wet. You can also use brushes to apply your foundation. You get a flat brush like this, which looks like a paintbrush, and you also get a flat a brush like this, which you can also go ahead and buff it into your skin or either pat it into your skin, whichever way you want to. The way to use this type of brush is going to go ahead, literally use it as like a paintbrush, and you're going to go ahead and just downwards motions always um, and apply it all over your face. I just feel like the brushes give you a very streaky look and the, the sponges just give you a very airbrush look. Next, we're going to analyze our skin to see and see if we have any problem areas that we need to specifically work on. Personally, I have a lot of acne on my um, cheek areas because I have polycystic ovaries and I do have a dark circle, so pigmentation under my eyes. I do have pigmentation on my nose area from wearing glasses and I also have pigmentation on my um, lip area over here and my chin area over here. I do have acne marks and stuff as well on my face, but it's not something that needs um, a lot of work it actually easily covers with a little bit of foundation so I'm not going to really worry about that you get different types of foundations as well you get liquid foundation you have cream foundation and you have powder foundation each of them do different things I'm going maybe I'll make a series of videos on what gives you what type of effect if you'd like that let me know now that I've seen what issues I have with my skin I'm going to go ahead and try to correct them before I apply my foundation so like I said, I have darker areas under my eyes, on my nose and my upper lip area and my lower chin area. I'm going to go ahead and correct those areas. And I'm going to use this, um, I've got a very little bit of it left. I don't think I hardly have anything left actually. But this is an orange concealer. I don't know if you can tell. Um, not so concealer, sorry. This is an orange corrector. And I'm going to go ahead and just with a brush, get whatever's left of it. And I'm going to apply that under my eyes, just very, very little bit. And I'm only going to apply this way I have a little, the darkness. So I'm going to apply that on my nose over here, a little bit under my eyes, not too much, only, only in the areas you have, have darkness. And I'm going to apply this on my lip area, my chin area, and I'm just kind of like pressing it down into my skin. Get a little, oopsie, let me get a little bit more. 
And can you see it's completely like orange? Don't get scared with it because we're going to go over it with foundation and it will completely get cam camouflaged. So I'm going to actually leave this side of my face with corrector and I'm not going to put corrector on this side just so you can go ahead and see the difference. If you have any dark acne spots, like I do have a few over here. I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit on those areas as well. But you don't have to because I feel like I said it does completely cover with Now for the fun part to apply the foundation. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty foundation in the color brown sugar. It's slightly, slightly light for me when I first apply it, but once it dries, it completely changes color and actually becomes my skin tone, so don't get too scared. So I'm using one squirt of it to start with. This is a very full coverage foundation. You can see I'm using quite a little of it. I'm going to go ahead and take my beauty blend and just bounce that on the foundation. I'm going to just place it on top of it. As you can see what I'm doing, I'm just basically just bouncing up my face. Take your time because sometimes it does take a little bit of time to get used to because most people just take the foundation and go ahead and just like rub it on their face and it's like two minutes and it's done. But I promise you when you take your time to do this, this technique with uh, this bouncing with this wet sponge, I promise you it makes the biggest difference ever. Take your forehead. I'm just going to do half the face first and wait for it to dry so you can see the difference. Make sure when you take the foundation you go into your hairline just so it doesn't look like you're wearing a mask. Get by your ears. I do also cover the ears sometimes and obviously you can also take it onto your neck. As the side dries, I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of the foundation to the other side of my face to the side with no character. So you don't have to use corrector if you don't have like any like dark marks and stuff on your face. It's not compulsory. And I can use that most of the job. If you want to put coverage foundation, you just put a beauty foundation. So see a little bit of darkness under my eyes. Um, I can't really see on camera, I can't really see this area here. I think it should look fine, but um, you can always see this side here. It looks so much more flawless. It actually just goes so much more like, it looks so much more brighter. It looks so much more, I don't even need any concealer to be honest when I when I apply this correct under the eyes compared to this side here. That's it for the foundation application. This is how I apply my foundation. I'm going to go ahead and do another series of you how to apply your concealer, how to set your face, how to contour, how to blush and all the other things again. But I'll make those into small, small separate videos So this, because I know this video is going to become very, very really long. So go ahead and let me know if you like these type of videos. If you do, I'll make a lot more and I'll go in like a lot more in depth. This is just like a basic thing I would I thought it'd be nice to actually show people step by step on what I do of my on my foundation of my own type. I mean you can always on my own skin type, I mean, um, and you can always go ahead and just adjust it to whatever your skin type is. So go ahead and use a little bit of a lighter color coverage foundation or go ahead and use a little bit more face or if you have dry skin, just go ahead and play around with foundation and see how it looks. And don't forget to subscribe. Let me know what type of videos you like. Um, and if you enjoyed this. Ha <laughs> ha.